Siguraduhing sapat ang sabon para sa buong kamay. Kiskisin ng sabon ang inyong mga palan. Sunod naman ay ang pagitan ng inyong mga daliri. Ipato ang kanang kamay sa kaliwa at kuskusin. Gawin din sa kabila. Pagtikitin ulit ang mga palad at kiskisin. Pagtapos naman ay ang likod ng mga daliri sa magkabilang kamay. Hanggang sa makabalik sa palad gamit ang paikot na hagod. Kuskusin ang pagitan ng hinlalaki. Gawin din sa kabila. Huwag din kalimutang sabunin ang ating ris o pulsuhan. Pagtapos ay banlawan ng tubig. Tuyuin ang kamay gamit ang single-use towel. Dapat tumagal ang buong proseso hanggang sa maawit ang dalawang happy birthday. How to properly wear a mask? Una, maghugas tayo ng kamay. And after noon na rin maghugas ng kamay, tuyuin ito. Then, kunin natin yung face mask. Make sure na yung blue part nasa labas. Then, lagay natin sa tenga. Ayan. Dapat fitted siya sa ilong. Meron siyang bakal dito. So, yeah. Fit natin. Kapag maluwag, pwede natin i-adjust dito sa tenga. Sa tali. And after nun, um, make sure na walang leak in every sides. Then, kapag tatanggalin, tanggalin natin sa tenga. 
tupi, then diretso agad sa basurahan. Then maghugas tayo ng kamay. A friendly reminder from your frontliner. It's the presence of my enemy. <laughs> Bakit nalimutan mo? Diyan nagtatapos ang story Mali. natin ngayon. You rise at dawn and Hello, yeah, Marjorie. Let's come. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, for a Okay. Happy fourth anniversary, everyone. Happy fourth. Yeah, no, All right. Ooh. Anya siya. Magandang umaga, magandang hapon, magandang gabi. Nihao. Yay! Sa lahat ng nanonood, welcome and happy anniversary yes. to all. Happy anniversary, and we would like to welcome all our. Uh, Members, visitors, guests who are watching all over the world. Yes. Yes. We have from the U.S. California. We have, um, what else? Texas. We have yeah. Texas also. Mm -hmm. um, we also have uh, Calgary and Toronto from Canada. Yes. Yes. Pa? Indonesia. Yes. Indonesia. Yes. Pahuhuli ba ang Pilipinas? Regions <laughs> 1 to 12. <laughs> And NCR, siyempre. Yeah, huwag niya kakalimutan yan. Yay! Yeah. Grabe, it's been four years. Ang bilis. Ang bilis talaga. Grabe. Super bilis. Oh, today is a very special day kasi grabe, ibang celebration natin ngayon. Yes, yeah, special yeah. na special talaga. Yes, it's going to be exciting. Yes. Joyful. Uh, wonderful. And amazing! Yes. Bakit? Bakit? Kasi marami mangyayari ngayon. Merong testimonies. 
Merong, ano pa ba mangyayari ngayon? What, do, what can they expect? Special ah. number. Yo, no, parang ano, kasali ka ba doon? Yeah. <laughs> Panorin niyo po later. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> ano pa? Siyempre yung message. Oh. Ayun, yeah. galing. Sip-sip talaga sa tatay niya. <laughs> Grabe, uh, we're all celebrating today at merong mga gustong bumate. Yes, We'd like yes. to welcome, ito yung mga families talaga. Anong tawag mo, Hazel? Yes, Description uh, mo sila, sa kanila. Sila po ang pillars. <laughs> mga pillars, <laughs> mga pundasyon, mga kasama pa magmula nung nagsimula. Yes. They are, these are just some of them. Yes. Marami, marami Opo. involved. But we'd like you to meet Ito yung ano, two of the families na talagang yes. kasama sa ministerial staff, si Leia and si Sharon. And they would like to greet you also. Yan. On location. Yan. Yehey. Yan. Kaya ito, babati sila. Sa oh, yun na, yun na. <laughs> Kamisdaan at saka land of measurement. <laughs> We're celebrating the first for the first time, not through online. We're celebrating uh, our anniversary, church anniversary. Kaya medyo excited na medyo na kalungkot din kasi hindi ko yung kayo lahat na higita in person, di ba? Hindi ganun ka busy, pero super super happy, happy dahil mabate ng four years. Kaya God bless to us all. Yay! Of the nation says, Sana lumaki Yay! lang kita. Enjoy the celebrations. Bye. Okay, let's go now to the north. Yes. Punta tayo sa Mangingisda. Mangingisda. Hi. Yes. Mangingisda. Kami yon. Hello, hello. Hello. One, two, three, go. Hi. dahil nandito tayo sa ating mga bahay. Hindi man tayo magkakasama ngayon sa church. Pero ito yung church natin. Ito yung bagong church. Yung mga bahay natin. Kaya we are really thankful sa Lord dahil 
um, sa fourth anniversary, magkakasama tayong lahat. Hindi man tayo magkakita-kita, pero dito pwede tayo magkita-kita. Kaya let us be thankful sa lahat ng ginagawa sa atin ng Panginoon. Kaya dito sa Lord, masaya kami na asama kayong lahat. Yeah! 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 pa sa inyo si Dory na si Charles. Yeah! anniversary once again. And before we have, and before we go to the next segment, ayan, yung worship celebration natin, uh, we'd like to have a word of prayer. But before I do that, I'd like to read to you these verses. Okay? It's found in John 1 verses 1 to 5. And it says here, In the beginning, the Word already existed. The Word was with God and the Word was God. He existed in the beginning with God. God created everything through Him, and nothing was created except through Him. The Word gave life to everything that was created, and His life brought light to everyone. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness can never extinguish it. Let us pray. Lord, we give you praise, we give you honor, we give you thanksgiving, Panginoon. You are worthy. Panginoon, salamat po. Salamat. You are here. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And Lord, I'm praying today, may this celebration be full of your glory. None of this could have happened without your presence. Hallelujah. And thank you, Lord, for your light. Lord, yung light mo binago kami. Lord, yung light mo binago yung buong family namin, yung buong church namin, Panginoon. And I am praying, Lord Jesus, that each one of us, Lord, hayaan mo, Lord, na maging light din kami sa buong mundo, Father, sa lahat ng ginagalawan namin, Father. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! And Father, as we give you honor and worship, may you be pleased. May you be honored. Father, be the light over our lives. Be the light over our families. Be the light over our church. Be the light over our nation. And I'm praying, make us your light over the whole world. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Matthew 5 verse 16. Let your light so shine before men. They may see 
your good works and glorify your Father which is in heaven. Be, Be the light!
lift you up, you riding on the prince. Being thrones over everything, you are seated in the place. This is prophetic, I can feel it in the air. We lift our praise and you change the atmosphere. With hearts open now. You're the life in my bones 
Lord, we want a touch of heaven. We want to experience your glory, your majesty. We want to give you honor and praise, Lord God. This morning, O Lord God, Father, let your presence be so real among us, Lord God. Be in our midst, Lord. Glory, be, we glorify your name, Lord God. And Jesus, as we lift up your name in this place, we pray that you will bless every one of us here today, Lord. Touch us, Lord God. Touch our hearts, our minds, Lord God, that we may be receptive, Lord God, to your leading, to your word. We bless you, O Lord God. In Jesus' name, this we pray. 
Amen and amen. Good morning! Yeah, hey! Happy anniversary once again! Woohoo! Alright. Apat na taon? Yes. As Rock of the Nations. Many of you know our history. So it's only our fourth year as Rock of the Nations Gospel Fellowship. And nagpapasalamat tayo sa Panginoon, mga kapatid. And we would like to thank you for joining us this morning. And we hope you will be blessed. Amen? Alright. So... I I I I uh, I just ask every one of us to uh, to just uh, open your heart, open your minds as we listen to God's word this morning. And of course, we have entitled our message this morning, "Be the Light." Yan mismo yung theme natin. Yan yung pinaka topic natin for today. We want to receive from the Lord how we can be the light, God's light for this world. All right? Yan. So pero bago tayo pumutumungo yan, mga kapatid. Uh, gusto ko rin lang magpasalamat mga kapatid for everyone who have been for who has been with uh, with this church for a long time. You iba sa inyo, you've been with this church since the day it started. Yeah, kaya congratulations and thank you for staying with us. Yes. We thank the Lord dahil uh, tinuturuan niya tayo, tinutulungan niya tayo and yung mga bago natin hanggang sa mga first time na umaten ngayong araw na ito. Thank you. Yeah, hey. So, uh, we want to get to know you. Kaya kung po pwede mga kapatid, if you are a first timer here or you're quite new to uh, to attending our worship celebrations, please make a comment. Sabi mo lang kung ano yung pangalan mo or just say hello, good morning. Kapag na, kapag may nakakita dia sa pangalan mo, somebody will respond to you. Okay? Yeah. So, we hope everyone uh, will uh, will get to make a comment this morning, all right? Yan. Pero yung mga answer doon sa mga questions, doon sa games natin, huwag nyo sa comment section ilalagay, ha? May instruction na dyan. Yan. Post nyo doon sa wall ninyo. Ay, sa ano pala? Sa, sa, doon mismo sa ano? Doon mismo sa space provided doon sa mga questions. Alright? Yan. May send button naman doon, kaya pwede nyo na doon isend. Alright? O, sige. Tuloy tayo, tuloy tayo. We have decided... Uh, to uh, uh, to have this as our theme for our anniversary celebration, be the light. Because nga parang we have been looking for for uh, a a fresh revelation from the Lord. Lord, what is it that you want us to understand for this anniversary celebration? Ano yung dadali namin from this day forward? Not just for today, but from this day forward, mga kapatid. And when we were able to come up with this uh with this theme when we when we thought we have received this from the lord all of a sudden na biglang sumagi sa isipan ko this has been the uh uh annual theme of our G12 movement uh vision 2020 making things clear so parang nandun tayo mga kapatid we want to be the light because we want to make things clear between ourselves and god and between ourselves and other people. Alright? Gusto natin maging maayos tayo. Gusto natin maging malinaw. Yan. Okay. And for those of you who somehow know about uh, some Jewish celebrations or the Jewish calendar, I want you to know na ngayong araw na ito, mga kapatid, we are celebrating Rosh Shahan, Hashanah. Okay? Rosh Hashanah. This is a Jewish feast Ito actually yung ano, beginning of the year or head of the year. This is a very special occasion. It started evening of September 18, last Friday evening. And it will end tonight, evening of September 20. Okay? So Rosh Hashanah signifies the start, the head of the year. Actually, hindi lang basta year kasi according to the Jewish tradition, mga kapatid, this is the day when God created the world. Some would even say this is the day when God created Adam. Pero ito, ito yung kumbaga pinakasimula ng lahat. So it's happy birthday world. Okay? Happy birthday universe. Yun yung ibig sabihin nun, mga kapatid. So everything was created. It started its, God started its, His creation on this day. Kaya maganda tong araw na ito. And it so happened that we're also celebrating our anniversary. Oh, I don't know if this, if this was mentioned earlier, mga kapatid. Today is the exact date 
of our anniversary, September 20, four years ago. Kasi na, naka-register tayo sa Securities and Exchange Commission on this exact date. Eh, September 20, uh, ano ba yun? Ano date yun? 2016. Yeah, kaya four years ago exactly mga kapatid. Okay, balik tayo dito sa Rosh Hashanah. Okay, yeah. Uh, you you will not be able to find this term in the Bible. This is not a biblical term. Uh, this was coined uh, sometime after the, the Bible was formed. Pero in the Bible, you will find this term, Yom Teruah, or Day of the Shofar Blast, or Feast of the Trumpets. Makikita natin yan. It's a very special occasion na sinecelebrate ng mga Jewish people, mga, mga kapatid natin ng mga Hudyo, uh, uh, this this signifies a special event para sa kanila. Kasi, uh, Numbers, according to Numbers 29, verse 1, On the first day of the seventh month, hold a sacred assembly and do no regular work. It is a day for you to sound the trumpets. Yan. Okay, so this is part of God's command. Sine-celebrate natin ngayong araw na ito, mga kapatid. And yung trumpet na ginagamit dito is not the uh, metal type of trumpet. Yung tinatawag nila na shofar, it is a trumpet made of ram's horn. Yeah. So, please stay with me. Merong relation ito doon sa pag-uusapan natin ngayon. Napakalaki. I tell you, napakalaki. And I'm excited to share this with you. So it's made of ram's horn at ito yung hinihipan nila. Merong pattern, merong certain tone silang hinihipan para dito sa araw na ito, uh, Rosh Hashanah. Yan. And ito, mga kapatid, uh, yung mga Messianic Jews, ibig sabihin mga Jewish people who believe that Jesus is the Messiah, the Messianic Jews believe the shofar will be sounded at the coming of the Messiah's reign. Yes! Woohoo! Yeah! Pagbalik ni Jesus, naniniwala sila that the, that the trumpet will be sounded. The shofar will be sounded, mga kapatid. Tanda ng pagbabalik ng Panginoon. And that's what the Apostle Paul believed in. In 1 Thessalonians 4, verse 16, etong sabi ni Paul, For the Lord Himself will come down from heaven with a loud command, with the voice of the archangel, and with the trumpet call of God. Yes. Actually, that will be the last trumpet. Yan. Woohoo! Kaya inaabangan natin yan, mga kapatid. Uh, that is one of the most anticipated events of all time. The return of our Savior and Lord Jesus Christ. Kaya napaka-importante nito, mga kapatid. Yan. Okay. Actually, maraming ibig sabihin yung Rosh Hashanah, mga kapatid. But we will not be able to discuss everything today. I'm just go. I'm just giving you uh, a few a few points about about that celebration. Na related dito sa pag-uusapan natin yung araw na ito. Now, they also believe that the feast is also called the Day of the Awakening Blast, a call for people to repent and return to the Lord. This is a call, not just to celebrate the coming of uh, the Messiah, of our Lord Jesus. This is, is, this is not just an occasion to commemorate the goodness of our God. But this is also a day of repentance and returning to the Lord. A day of reconciling ourselves to God. Na ngayong araw na ito, mga kapatid, we are being called upon by our Lord para bumalik sa Kanya, para manumbalik tayo sa Kanya. Probably, for some of us, you have strayed away for, for a very long time or probably uh, for a very far distance and God is calling you back. He wants you to repent and He's giving us this opportunity, this time, para bumalik sa Kanya, mga kapatid. Alright? Kaya, I, I hope every one of you will just Take, take a moment to listen to this message, mga kapatid. Because what I'm about to, to share with you is a message that will, hopefully, will lead us back to our God, back to our Lord. Yung bang marikindal, 
yung fire natin for our God, marikindle yung love natin para sa ating Lord. Okay. And this is our key verse for today, mga kapatid. Ephesians chapter 5, verse 14. Na sinabi ni Apostle Paul, Wake up, sleeper, rise from the dead, and Christ will shine on you. This, this particular passage, mga kapatid, this particular quotation, hindi, hindi makita saan nang galing ito. It could be, it could be, uh, a combination of several verses or it could be uh, it could be taken from a from a writing that we have not found or probably it got lost already na hindi na natin alam kung nasaan pero kung ano man yung source nito mga kapatid prophetically ang sinasabi nito para sa atin mga kapatid is for us to get back to God it's for us to rekindle our relationship with our Lord. Uh, this was written for the believers. Bawat isa na nananampalataya, naniniwala sa ating Panginoong Jesus, this message is for you. The book of Ephesians was written, or the letter of Paul to the Ephesians was written particularly for the believers in Ephesus. Hindi po ito para sa mga unbelievers o sa mga hindi naniniwala kay Jesus, kundi para lang doon sa mga naniniwala sa Panginoon. And meron din discuss doon si Paul, actually na, uh, the, almost the entire letter of Paul to the Ephesians is about uh, what they what they need to uh, uh, remove from their lives, to forget from their lives, and then what is it what are those things that they need to acquire? Ano yung mga bagong practices? Ano yung lifestyle na dapat meron sila? Ano dapat yung mindset na meron sila? Yun yung ano, yun yung uh, diniscuss ni Paul lengthily doon sa letter niya sa Ephesians. In fact, kasama nga doon pati yung relationship between husband and wife. Ano dapat ang turingan ng mag-asawa? Paano dapat ituring ng, ng ama yung kanyang mga anak at yung anak sa kanyang mga magulang? Paano dapat ituring yung mga nagtatrabaho o kaya yung mga servants? Uh, uh, paano, dapat, paano tayo dapat mamuhay na kasama ang ating Panginoon? Everything there was discussed by the Apostle Paul. And kasama rin doon, lahat ng mga dapat na nating iwasan o alisin sa buhay natin. Sexual immorality, uh, alcohol or drunkenness, uh, dapat inaalis na natin yon Anger, hatred, Inaalis na natin yon. So Paul discussed all those things or at least mentioned in part lahat ng mga bagay na ito so that the, the people in Ephesus can be guided ano dapat na ginagawa nila. And then, in the middle of his writing, in Ephesians 5 verse 14, ito yung kinote ni Apostle Paul. For some reason, mga kapatid, lumalabas dito that Paul is reminding his readers, the people of Ephesus, what they what they truly needed in their hearts. Kasi, you know, pwedeng sabihin natin, you can follow all those things that that uh, that was written uh, in in the letter. Yung mga sinabi ni Paul na bawal, pwede naman nilang sundin yun. Yung mga sinabi ni Paul na uh, dapat nilang gawin, pwede naman lang sundin, sundin yun. But there is one key element na gusto ni Paul matutunan nitong mga taong ito. And ito rin yung gusto nating matutunan ngayong araw na ito, mga kapatid. That we need to wake up. As we have fallen asleep, we have been in, in slumber, we have to wake up and rise from the dead so that the, the, the light of Christ will shine on us. Alright? Christ will shine on you. Pero meron tayong kailangan gawin. We need to wake up. Kailangan tayong magising. Now, is it possible? Dahil, dahil dito, may sinulat dito si Paul, is it possible na yung mga nagsasabing Christian sila, mga nagsasabing uh, believers ni, sila ni Jesus, is it possible for them to experience spiritual death? Or at least temporary spiritual death? The answer is yes. Palagay ko naman, lahat tayo or marami sa atin, naka-experience na ng ganon. Dumating do sa point ng life mo as you are walking in the Lord, 
dumating na sa point ng life mo na para bang nanghina ka, nalamig ka, uh, nawala yung attention mo sa Lord, napunta sa iba, you have stopped uh, following the Lord and you decided to follow somebody else or do something else, uh, tinanggal mo yung attention mo sa Panginoon, inalis mo yung, yung love mo para kay Lord. Uh, if you are that person, This morning, mga kapatid, I would like to encourage you, return to the Lord. Bumalik ka na sa Panginoon, mga kapatid. Okay. So, ito yung, ito yung sinabi ni Paul sa Ephesus, sa mga Christian sa Ephesus. Pero ito, this reminds us of another book. There's, there's, a, there's a book written about 35 years after Paul wrote to the Ephesian Christians. It, that's the book of Revelation. And that's written by another person, by the Apostle John. No longer Paul, but the Apostle John. Pero, the, 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 the thing that Paul said to the Ephesians, yung wake up, O sleeper, it's, some, it's, it's somewhat a prophecy of what will happen to them. Kasi during the time that Paul wrote his letter to the Ephesians, mainit sila sa Panginoon. Okay sila. Maganda yung pakiramdam nila. Talagang excited sila sa Panginoon. Pero 35 years later, the Apostle John wrote based on the revelation of God to him about the condition, the present condition of the church in Ephesus. And I'm going to read to you that part of the Bible found in Revelation chapter 2, verses 1 to 5. Excuse me. Okay. Asabi ng Revelation 2, verses 1 to 5, ganito. <clears throat> To the angel of the church in Ephesus write, These are the words of him who holds the seven stars in his right hand and walks among the seven golden lampstands. I know your deeds, your hard work, and your perseverance. I know that you cannot tolerate wicked people, that you have tested those who claim to be apostles but are not, and have found them false. You have persevered and have endured hardships for my name. And have not grown weary. Yet I hold this against you. You have forsaken the love you had at first. Consider how far you have fallen. Repent and do the things you did at first. If you do not repent, I will come to you and remove your lampstand from its place. <clears throat> Dun sa Ephesians chapter 5, yung binasa natin kanina, meron sinasabi doon that Christ will give His light to you, will make His light shine on you if you will wake up. Dito sa Revelation, chapter 2, ang sinabi dito ng Panginoon, you have forsaken the love you had at first. And if you will not repent, if you will not, if you will not return to the Lord, what will happen is this, the lampstand will be removed from you. So, nandoon yung, nandoon yung uh, uh, similarity nung dalawang passages na yon mga kapatid. If you will repent, if you will return to the Lord, the light will shine on you. If you will not repent, if you will not return to the Lord, the light will be taken away from you. Kukunin, mawawala. Now, ito yung, ito yung sinabi ng Lord na maganda sa mga Christians sa Ephesus. Ang sabi niyang ganun, you have purity of doctrine. Okay kayo, matuwid kayo. Uh, maganda yung tinuturo ninyo. Maayos, talagang, talagang uh, napakatuwid na mga teachings ninyo. Uh, Kung baga talagang doctrinally speaking, malinaw. Sound doctrine yung tinuturo ninyo. And then, yung pinapakita nila na ayaw nila sa kasalanan, tama iyon, walang problema ang Diyos doon. 
na dapat magali talaga tayo sa kasalanan, dapat talaga iwasan natin gumawa ng mali, huwag natin gagawin yung ginagawa ng mundo, sa halip gawin natin yung pinagagawa sa atin ng Panginoon, God commended them for those things. Tama naman yon. Kaya lang, here is one thing that uh, the Lord told the, the people of Ephesus. Ito yung problema nila. They have forsaken their first love. They have forgotten the love they had at first. Ibig sabihin mga kapatid ganito. They have been doing these things without love for God. Hello. Yeah, yeah. Tama naman yung mga ginagawa nila. Pero may missing element. One very important element. Love for God. Hello. The love being mentioned here in in uh, Revelation chapter 2, in the original language, it means a deep kind of love for God. Yung ban talagang napakalalim. Hindi lang yung tipong, hindi lang yung tipong sasabihin natin, oh mahal ko naman ng Lord eh. Pero you know, yung, yung bang, you, you mean it with all your heart. Yung tipong, with all seriousness, you can actually say, I love the Lord. Y- yung tipong ganon, talagang, talagang makikita sa buhay mo, the love that you have for God will reflect in your actions, in your words, in, in the way you think. Talagang obvious, mga kapatid, merong matibay na evidence that you really love the Lord. And this is what the Ephesians seem to be doing at first. When Paul wrote his letter to the Ephesians, ito yung commendation niya sa mga, sa mga tao doon sa, Ephesia, sa Ephesus. Parang, grabe kayo, ibang klase kayo. Ang, g- g- ang tindi ng pagmamahal ninyo sa Panginoon. That's how he worded his, his letter to the Ephesians. Kaya lang, 35 years later, Iba na ang tono. Hindi na kagaya nung silulat ni Paul. Ang sinabi ni John, nalalamig na kayo. Iba na yung ginagawa ninyo. You're lacking this element. Kulang na kulang kayo dito. So para bang, you know, uh, real story. And I, re- and I think this is a, a true to life story for many of us. Not just for some, but for many of us. Probably the first day, the first time that you opened your heart to the Lord and you repented of your sin to Him and you believed in Him, on fire ka, grabe ka, ang init-init mo sa Lord na talagang everything you do was born out of love for Him. Na talagang uh, ang haba-haba na nababasa mo sa Bible pero hindi ka naiinip. Why? You're so in love with Him. You've been spending in prayer for several hours already, pero uh, nothing could, could seem to stop you from praying. Kasi nga, you're, you're so in love with the Lord. Every moment, kahit na nasa trabaho ka, kahit na, kahit na nasa bahay ka, nag-aalaga ka ng anak mo, kahit na iniisip mo yung negosyo mo, pero during that time, mga kapatid, talagang ibang klase yung, yung takbo ng isip mo, nakatali ka sa Panginoon para bang how can I please God? How can I continue to walk in God? How can I fall in love with God even more? How I wish I can I can pray to God some more. Yung mga tipong ganun, you're so in love with Jesus. Grabe. Pero habang tumatagal, habang tumatagal, nawawala. Sino nakaka-relate? I don't know what's going on with you right now. Uh, siguro, kung lalagyan ka ng thermometer, spiritual thermometer, ano kaya ang magiging temperature mo? Uh, above 37, ibig sabihin, mainit ka para kay Lord, or below 37, you're as cold as dead. It's 
time for us to rekindle our love for God. Parang ganito yon kapatid. Para bang yung uh, y- yung 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 kandila o kaya yung lamp na dati grabe yung apoy, talagang very steady, hindi nawawala. Pero habang tumatagal kasi hindi mo naaalagaan, kasi hindi mo nababantayan yung lamp mo, kasi hindi mo nakikita, uh, hindi, mo, hindi mo napapansin, nauubos na pala yung oil, tapos hindi mo naman dinadagdagan kasi hindi mo naman napapansin. Yung bang unti-unti, yung, yung apoy doon sa lamp mo, lumiliit na hanggang sa aandap-andap na lang na ganyan. kailangan natin bumalik sa Lord. And that's what Ephesians 5.14 is telling us. Dito sa verse 5 ng Revelation chapter 2. May sinasabi dito, mga kapatid, three things na kailangan natin gawin. Ang sabi dito, consider how far you have fallen. Repent and do the things you did at first. Three things. Una, remember. Pangalawa, repent. And then pangatlo, redo. Remember. Ang sabi, uh, remember the height from which you have fallen. Consider. Ibang, at dati, grabe ka, ibang klase ka, pero ngayon, ang layo-layo mo na. Uh, no comparison hindi hindi maiko-compare para bang para bang uh, uh, hindi hindi ka makikilala you're a different person when you when you first received Jesus ibang iba ka na ngayon ang lamig-lamig mo na ang layo-layo mo na you know active ka sa church probably you're even a cell leader pero yung heart mo ang layo kay Lord Kaya para bang iba-iba yung ginagawa mo eh. No longer for the Lord and no longer an expression of love for the Lord. You've been doing things that will seem like you're not even a Christian at all. Hello? Uh, y- y- you've, been, you've been dabbling on things that are not uh, glorifying to the Lord. Uh, yung bang tipong You've been you've been immersing yourself in activities. You've been uh, you've been going out with people na alam mo naman na hindi na hindi maayos yung lifestyle, na hindi maayos sa harap ng Lord. Pagkatapos you've been you've been focusing your mind on things that are not that are not from the Lord. Yung bang yeah, um maaring maaring iniisip mo uh, kasi uh, ano to para sa business ko it's for it's for my development it's for my family pero ang tanong ko mga kapatid nasa na napunta ang Lord sa buhay mo yeah God cares for all those things in your life but you have to pull him in you have to make him part of all those things that you have been doing kaya lang nawala remember the height from which you have fallen layo na Remember those days na araw-araw para bang, para bang hindi magkasya yung isang oras para sa devotion mo. Pero ngayon, five minutes, ayaw mo na nga eh. Hello? Dati-dati, you've been volunteering kung ano yung mga pwede mong gawin. Pero ngayon, para bang uh, you're missing in action. Ayaw mo magpakita. Ni hindi ka nagpaparamdam. Ang layo ng puso mo sa Lord. Remember the height from which you have fallen. And then secondly, repent. You have to repent. Repent does not only constitute saying sorry, although that's part of it. Pero repent means turning your life around, uh, getting back to God. Yung bang tipong, you're going to live 
all those wrong things behind and you're not going to do those things anymore. Instead, you're changing your direction and your direction will be towards God. That's repentance, kapatid. And that's a lifelong pursuit, a lifelong journey. Hindi pwedeng pansandalian lang. That should be the case, mga kapatid. And then thirdly, redo. Ibang, yeah, sabi, sabi dun sa binasa natin, Revelation 2 verse 5, ang sabi doon, uh, do the things that you used to do. Yeah. Uh, get back to them. Uh, get back to... to uh, being intimate with the Lord. Get back to uh, doing things with the Lord and for the Lord. Redo all those things. Balik natin, kapatid. Yeah, pwede sabihin ng iba, Pastor, uh, uh, gusto ko sana, kaya lang mahirap. Yeah, I know. Mahirap. Talagang, talagang pagtsatsagaan natin, kapatid. You have to pursue it. You have to push yourself, mga kapatid. Kaya nga sinasabi doon sa Ephesians, sa Ephesians, yung binasa natin kanina, mga kapatid, ang sabi doon, kailangan talagang, talagang uh, uh, ibalik natin, mga kapatid. In, dahil kapag hindi natin ginawa, doon din sa verse na, na iyon, binasa natin, mga kapatid, kapag hindi natin ginawa, sabi doon sa Revelation 2, kukunin yung apoy mula sa atin, yung lamp will be taken away from us. Now, what does that symbolize? Ibig sabihin ito, mga kapatid, no longer will you feel the presence of God. No longer will you have the presence of the Lord. Yung bang, yung bang opportunity for you to get back, mawawala. Talagang, even you, the fellowship that you're having, actually, ito yung napapansin ko eh. Uh, Yung mga talagang napalayo yung puso sa Panginoon, isa sa mga evidences na napapansin ko, mga kapatid, lumalayo sa church. Yeah, hindi nagpapakita sa church. Kasi ang layo ng puso nila sa Lord. Eh. And this is what Revelation 2, verse 5, uh, 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 verse 5 is telling us, mga kapatid, na talagang lalayo tayo wala kukunin sa atin. Kaya nga mga kapatid, uh, kung, napa, kung, kung, kung papansinin mo yung puso mo, kung nalalamig ito para kay Lord, then it's time for you. It's time for us to wake up and be restored to the Lord. It's something that you need to commit to doing. Kapag sinabing commit, mga kapatid, ibig sabihin talagang gagawa at gagawa ka ng paraan. That's part of your commitment. That's part of what you need to do. Gagawa ka ng paraan. Ipupush mo yung sarili mo. Talagang, talagang uh, aalisin mo lahat ng mga nakaharang dyan so that you can, you can proceed in coming to the Lord. You know, I've seen this many times, mga kapatid. Uh, people leading, leading in singing to the Lord, pero their heart is far from the Lord. Kaya nga, I could not even say they're leading in worship. They're just leading in singing. Kasi their hearts could not even worship at all. Kaya nga, uh, parabang, it's time for us to get back. Bible study leader, cell group leader, pero napaka-technical lang. Uh, pwedeng scholarly yung kanyang, uh, yung kanyang pagkaka-discuss. But there's no, there's no depth. There's no meat in the discussion. Walang laman. Hello? Para bang ang habol na lang is just to be able to say, uh, we were able to meet. Pero wala. Walang makukuha. You know, it's something that each one of us has to pursue. Balik natin kay Lord. 
yung puso natin. Balik natin sa Kanya yung apoy natin. Ang sabi dito, mga kapatid, Ephesians 5, verse 14, Wake up! The trumpet is sounding, kapatid. Wake up! The, the shofar is being blown. Wake up! You know, yun ang gusto ng Lord eh. Kaya nga, He wants a loud trumpet blast so that everybody who could hear that trumpet could actually be startled and woke up, wake up. Talagang magigising, kapatid. The trumpet is being sounded. It's right here. It's right now. God wants you to wake up. And it's your role to stand to your feet and get back from the dead. Rise from the dead. Gisingin mo yung sarili mo, kapatid. Tulungan mo yung sarili mo. Manumbali ka sa Panginoon. And when you decide to do that, the moment you decide to do that, ang pangako sa Bible, mga kapatid, ang sinabi dito, and Christ will shine on you. You will once again experience the glory of our Lord the majesty of our Savior, it will be yours once again. But you have to wake up. Ngayong araw na ito, mga kapatid, I would like to encourage every one of us. Kapatid, wag na tayo magtulog-tulugan. We do not know when the end will come. We do not have an idea when Jesus will return. When that last trumpet sounds, Jesus will return. And kukunin niya yung para sa Kanya. The dead who have believed in Him will rise from their grave and will go up to, 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 where, he, to where Jesus is up in the air and all who have been living in faith and in belief in the Lord Jesus will also go up to the air to where Jesus is and together they will enter heaven I don't know when that will happen pero mga kapatid since we do not know when kailangan anytime we are ready. Hindi na pwedeng magpatumpik-tumpik pa. Hindi na pwedeng, ah, total, matagal pa naman. Total, may madedevelop namang vaccine. Ang dami na nga mga nadedevelop na vaccine. Ha? Huh? E paano kung unahan ng pagbabalik ng Lord yung, yung, pagba, yung pag-develop ng mga vaccines na iyon? You know, you, you do not know when Kaya, I encourage you, the time to get back to the Lord is now. It's not tomorrow. It's not next week. It's not even next month. It's today. It's right now. Rosh Hashanah is a call for repentance. Repent. Return to the Lord. Bumalik ka na kay Lord. Manumbali ka na. Ibigay mo na yung puso mo sa Kanya. Iayos mo na yung sarili mo. Huwag mo sabihin, uh, saka na lang, masaya pa ako ngayon eh. Pero hindi mo alam, baka mamaya wala ka na. Kaya ang panahon, nagpapanumbalik sa Panginoon, ay walang iba, kundi ngayon na. Wake up. Rise from the dead. And Christ will shine on you. Kanina, sabi dun sa Revelation chapter 2, if we will not repent, if we will not do what God requires of us, the lamp will be taken away from us. Mawawala. In a little while, mga kapatid, meron tayong gagawin. Uh, and for those of you who received the instruction, na magdala ng kandila, ngayon natin gagamitin yung kandila na iyon. 
the candle symbolizes the light of Christ the lamp of our God mamaya as you make your commitment na gusto mong sabihin sa Lord Lord I want to rekindle my love for you gusto kong mag-init ulit sa iyo and I'm going to push myself to return to you to be restored to you and if you want to if you want to do that if you are making that commitment kumuha ka ng kandila and in a little while sabay-sabay nating sisindihan nito as a symbol na gusto nating manatili yung liwanag ng ating Panginoon sa buhay natin we don't want to lose that light we don't want to lose that lamp we want that lamp to remain with us kaya sisindihan natin ito in a little while before we sing a song I'm going to pray for just just a few moments and then we're going to sing a song and as we sing that worship song to the Lord those of you who would like to make that commitment uh, meron kayong makikita sa video yung, pag nakita nyo na sinisindihan na namin yung kandila as we sing that song we encourage you light your candle with us symbolizing that you want that fire to remain with you Father, I pray tulungan mo po yung bawat sa sa amin to be restored to you we repent of our sins I repent of my sin and I ask you to forgive me O Lord God and I pray O Lord ngayong araw na ito let your light remain with me I know you're giving me this chance you're giving me this opportunity because you're a good father You're a good God. Hallelujah. Oh, I heard a thousand stories of what they think you're like but I've heard the tender whisper of love in the dead of night and you tell me that you're pleased and that I'm never alone you're a good good father it's who you are it's who you are It's who you are, and I'm loved by you. It's who I am. It's who I am. It's who I am. And I've seen many searching for answers, far and wide, but I. Searching for ads Only you provide Cause you know Just what we need Before we say a word You're a good, good father It's who you are It's who you are It's who you are And I'm loved by you It's who I am It's who I am, it's who I am You are perfect in all of your ways You are perfect in all of your ways You are perfect in all of your ways To us You are perfect in all of your ways You are perfect in all of your ways You are perfect in all of your ways To us
this love so undeniable I can hardly speak peace so unexplainable I can hardly think as you call me deeper still as you call me Deeper still as you call me Deeper still into love Love, love, your good, good father It's who you are It's who you are It's who you are And I'm loved by you It's who I am It's who I am It's who I am, it's who I am. Perfect in all of your ways. You are perfect in all of your ways. You are perfect in all of your ways. To us, you are perfect in all of your ways. You are perfect in all of your ways. You are perfect in all of your ways to us. Lord, we light our candles, Lord God, to tell you that we want the fire to get back in our hearts, Lord. Restore us, Lord. Restore our love for you. We want to restore our love for you. Gusto ka naming makilala pa. Gusto naming lumalim pa sa aming relationship sa inyo, Lord God. Father, yung nawala sa amin because of our unfaithfulness, because we have drawn ourselves away from you, Lord, ngayon, ibalik nyo po lahat, Ama. And we pray, O Lord God, that as our lights, as our candles are, are lit, Lord God, we pray that you will also light our hearts, Lord God. Put that flame inside our hearts, Lord. And make ourselves passionate for you, O Lord. Thank you so much, O God. Lord, minamahal ka namin, iniibig ka namin. And as we express our love for you, make us light to this world as well, Lord God, that all our actions, all our words, all the things that we will do, Lord God, will reflect your glory so that others will see your goodness in us. Others will see your glory through us, Lord God so that they too will believe in you and put their lives in your hands. Father God, bless us, bless everyone who is uh, committing their lives to you. In Jesus' name this we pray. Amen and amen. Para sa lahat ng mga nag-commit, lahat ng mga nagbigay ulit ng puso nila, sarili nila sa Panginoon, I would like to congratulate you because you just made the best decision of your life. Hallelujah. And God will want to get to grow, uh, to help you grow. God will want to help you. God will want to really uh, put that fire inside of you. Kaya magpaakay ka sa Panginoon. Uh, hayaan mo na tulungan ka ng Lord. Lumago ka sa Kanya. And if you want, you can, you can join this church so that we can help you grow in your relationship with the Lord. God bless you, kapatid. Keep in touch and we will also pray for you and keep in touch with you. God bless. Right now, mga kapatid, we're going to see uh, a short video of people who were transformed because they have given their lives to the Lord.
Yeah, hey, we praise the Lord para do sa mga binago niya, para do sa mga tinulungan niya, inayos niya yung buhay. And you could be one of them, mga kapatid. Just give your life to the Lord. Tell the Lord, Lord, gusto ko mabago mo ko, gusto ko tulungan mo ko, Lord God, kaya ayusin mo po ang buhay ko. Alisin mo po yung mga pangit sa akin, palitan mo ng mga magaganda. You can be changed by the Lord if you will let Him. Alright, sige. Okay, as we continue mga kapatid, uh, as many of you know, taon-taon, every time we celebrate our anniversary, meron tayong lunch together. Nagkakaroon tayo ng konting salo-salo, syempre doon sa church premises natin. Kaya lang, for this year, dahil nga uh, dahil dito sa sa pandemic na ito, uh, hindi natin nagagaw- hindi natin nagawa ngayon 'yon. So, instead of uh, spending for our luncheon, ayan, we decided na yung perang pang lunch dapat natin, ipantulong natin sa iba. And we looked for a uh, for a group na pwede po nating tulungan na masasabi nating it the, the money that we have will be enough para somehow makatulong sa kanila makapagbigay ng konting kasiyahan kaligayahan sa kanila kaya uh, we have uh, we have uh, given uh, a, a good amount para doon sa isang isang uh, home for women in Tarlac and para makita ninyo yung mga pictures nila and short video watch this okay magandang hapon sa ating lahat afternoon na walang iba kundi si Pastor John Jobert De Leon, ang senior pastor ng Rock of the Nations Gospel Fellowship. Alam pa kanilang si Pastor De Leon. Ating sinip para na lang hindi tayo nakikita hindi nyo ko nakikita hindi ko nakikita pero maraming sa lahat kung pagkakasahod pwede ako po kahit konti pagkakasahod nyo Uh, ang puta, nakikipelebrate kami sa pag-upikasyon na pinagdiriwang nyo ang ngayong ha. And, uh, nagpapakasama kami sa mga kasi kinang at pangasas. Kaya rin po ang friends, miss na miss ko na kayo pero mayroong dahilan ba't po kayo namimiss? Kasi maraming kalamidad na nangyari sa atin Unang-una, noong January pumutok ang Bulkan Taal so nabawasan ang pagkakataon magkita-kita tayo At sumunod naman ang pinakamalagim na pandemic na nangyari sa Pilipinas, ang COVID So natatakot tayong mahawa natatakot tayong mag- magkasakit dahil dahil pag nagkasakit tayo, makakonfine sa ospital at maaaring posible tayong mamatay. Kasama na dito yung mga pahirap na nangyari sa ating mga kababayan, marami ang nawalan ng trabaho. So, naghari ang takot sa atin. Pero dapat ba tayong matakot kung meron tayong Panginoon sa ating buhay? Ang sabi nga sa Psalms 112 verse 7, They will have no fear of bad news. Their hearts are steadfast trusting in the Lord. If you have the Lord in your heart, there should be no fear at all. Because we know and we trust Him 
of whatever his plans for us and we know that he is he always in control and at this time God has granted us uh, his favor of uh, taking care of his richness let us return the favor by trusting him with with all our riches also by giving our tithes na maluwag sa ating kalooban may papakita diyan ng mga pangalan ng mga banko kung saan tayo pwede magdeposito ng ating tithes meron na rin tayong pay, paymaya at gcash at sa huling pagbati meron akong kasama happy anniversary Yeah! Hey! Woohoo! Yes, God is good. Amen. Amen. All right. Yan. Okay. Para do sa mga nag-commit kanina, la, let the fire grow. Amen. All right. Sige, palaguin pa yan. Palakihin pa yang apoy na yan. Let that be your wildfire. Yan. And we would like to thank everyone who participated in this worship celebration yung mga offering ninyo if you would like to ano if you if you did not get the bank account details earlier pwede niyo pa kami tanungin mamaya okay lang uh, para maibigay namin sa inyo yung bank account details pero sa lahat ng mga nandito we would like to thank you nagko-closing remarks na ako pero hindi pa tayo tapos ha uh, after our prayer meron pa tayong uh, announcement of winners and ko ano pang mga abu-abubot diyan kaya stay put stay put all right sige so again we would like to thank everyone who attended 
Uh, we hope that you were blessed. You did not just enjoy, but you were blessed and God moved in your life. And it is my prayer that God will continue to build you up. God will continue to establish your faith in Him. And He will allow you to discover more of Him and that you will, you will find yourself becoming better and better each day. Amen? Amen? Okay, sige. Please join me in prayer. Heavenly Father, thank you so much, Lord that we were able to celebrate our wor our anniversary, fourth anniversary, through this worship celebration. Salamat po, Panginoon. This is kind of unusual for us. First time namin ginawa ito, pero we had fun, Lord God, and we were blessed, Lord God. We thank you so much that you moved in our lives today. Father, continue to prosper us, Lord. Continue to establish your kingdom in our hearts, Lord God. Father, your name will be glorified in our lives. Thank you so much. We give you praise, Lord God. And Father, as we end our time together, we pray that your blessing will be upon every one of us. Brothers and sisters, let us now receive the blessing of our God the Father, the love of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the communion, the fellowship, and the guidance of the Holy Spirit now and forevermore. And everybody say, Amen. Amen. Pwede mo palakpakan natin ang Lord? Woohoo! Yeah! Ika, pasok tayo. Yeah! Hey! Tuloy yung celebration. Happy birthday, Rock of the Nations family. Yeah! Hey! Paano bang mic down nila? <laughs> ang hirap talaga ng live. <laughs> Ito, okay na to. Ayan. Ayan. Okay. We'd, We'd like, like to announce, announce the winners. The winners. Ayan. Ayan. At huwag kayong aalis kasi mamaya may mga babati, babati sa atin from different sale groups. Yan. Ito na po ang list of winners. Woohoo! Ready na ba kayo? Ayan. Pagkabasa ko nito or right after the service, somebody will get in touch with you at marireceive nyo ang, ninyo ang inyong cash prize. Ayan. Sige, basahin natin. Okay. <laughs> Number one. Number one is Jeshi Padingu. Yes. Okay. So question number one, we have two winners. Jeshi is one. The other one is, Naku, isa yata to sa mga inaanak ko. Kate Mijares. Woohoo! Congratulations. Sa so question number two, ito ang winners. Ayan, pakibasa nyo. Ay, hindi pala siya pwede magbasa. Ikaw magbasa na winner. <laughs> Julia and my... Yay! Sino ba si Julia? Yay! Ay, by the way, ha, sorry, ha. Hindi kami ang namili nito. Din Rolats po ito, okay? And sino pa yung isa nanalo? Marlene Bornales. Yay, Marlene! Woohoo! Congratulations! O, question number three. Ang nanalo ay... Mayete. Mayete Alvarez. Mayete Alvarez. Mayete. Deborah Reyes! Woohoo! Yan! Yes. Hindi siya Deborah, ano, Deborah Reyes kasi sa ano, Rio siya siya. <laughs> And, siyempre, question number four, humabol pa. Ito, malayo-layo to, Hazel. Yes, ang guwapong-guwapo, si Kuya Nilo Cagete. Yay! Yay! And the second one is Clarissa Ponce. Yay! Clarissa Ponce, hey, hey, kamusta kayong lahat dyan? And congratulations, yan. And uh, may mga babati pa, kaya wag kayong mawawala. And before we end, before we go to, the, to watch the next video, we'd like to thank everyone. Okay, lahat na nag-take part, lahat na nag-join ngayon, lahat ng Rock of the Nations family. Yay! Yay! And of course, yung ating mga guests, first-timers, Welcome. I hope you found home in Rock of the Nations. You are always welcome here. And sa lahat ng mga tao sa buong mundo, yan na nagpa-follow, welcome. And uh, you are always welcome dito sa church. And sa lahat ng ministries, alam nyo, hindi mangyayari, hindi mabubuo ang lahat ng ito, kundi dahil dun sa mga tao na, na nagpagamit at uh, nagpagamit ng kanilang talents and gifts. Ano-ano yung mga different ministries? Uh, worship team. Yeah, you worship team. team. Uh, dance Dancers. Team. Yay. Ano pa? Finance. Finance multimedia. team. Multimedia. Ano pa? Ushering. Yan. The Pebbles Ministry. Yeah, All the cell groups. 
the the staff, ministerial staff. Yeah, hey, ano pa ba? Um, a uh, special uh, mention to the De Leon and Velasquez family because every day or every um, activity na meron tayo live online, sobrang galing ng effort na nilalabas nila. If you can only see our setup today, <laughs> palagi pong ganyan, todo effort sila. Kaya um, mabuhay ang Velasquez and De Leon family. Oh, yeah. hey, thank you. Thank you, everyone. And this celebration is for all of us. And of course, we'd like to give all glory, all honor to our Lord Jesus Christ. Yeah. Yeah, hey, hallelujah. Woo! I think we forgot something. Sino ba ang winner natin para dun sa ano? Uh, Nag-post. Okay, uh, yung nag-post na winner, yung isa pong nanalo, okay, na nag-post sa kanilang Facebook, is Nanay Soli. Wow! Yeah! Oh, Nanay Soli. Yeah, hey. Ayan, at saka, sino pa? Ah, okay, ito, may isa pa dito. Bakit? Bakit? Ito yung taga-bundok. Maganda yung post ng family niya. Si Popoy and family! Yeah, hey! And congratulations! And God bless you, everyone! Happy anniversary once again! Happy, Happy anniversary. anniversary! God bless! Happy anniversary! 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 Happy anniversary!